Yeah, we three of us are the travel agents, and together we will be presenting Mitchell, our client's dream, which is Paris. So as you can see from here, we are from Team Paris. <laughs> okay? Okay, so to begin, let me talk about my outline for today. Firstly, I'll talk about Mitchell's requirements. Secondly, I'll talk about the four A's related to this Paris trip. And then I'll talk about the package details, because we as travel agents have designed a special package for uh, Mitchell. And lastly, we will talk about some points to note for this trip. So to begin, um, we have discussed privately with Mitchell, and we have came um, and we have realized and learned the following things from him. What Mitchell wants is a relaxing trip for two, planning in August, because he will be starting work in mid-August, so he wants um, a trip prior to work start, so that he can have a relaxing trip. Yeah? So he wants to fly SQ, and he wants to stay in a three-star hotel at above with tight security. So the preferred mode of transport for comfort is actually the cat, provided the location is too, not too far away. So being a fresh graduate himself, he will want to stay as much as possible. Yeah, so we should also plan on cost savings whenever possible. So what Mitchell wants to do on this trip is actually shopping, sightseeing, and also night activities. <laughs> okay, so what Mitchell dislikes is a packed itinerary. So he wants a flexible and relaxing trip before work starts. And he usually wakes up late. Okay. So, for accessibility, we will actually be putting him on SQ based on his request. And um, he will be in Paris for 9 days from the 1st to the 9th August. It will be a direct flight, a 13 hour flight from Singapore to CDG Airport in Paris. And he will be flown on Airbus 380, economy class, with a 30 kg baggage allowance for him and his other half. So where did we derive all this information from? We got it from the SQ website here. And um, in the box are actually the timings to take note of. And um, as shown here, it's actually a 13 hour flight costing $3,670 for two for economy class. Okay, so moving on to the accommodation. Um, after much consideration and um, discussion with Mitchell based on a few hotel um, alternatives that we have chosen, we finally decided to put him in Team Hotel Oprah Grand Vaccines because of the many good reviews on both Booking.com as well as TripAdvisor.com. So this hotel is a four-star hotel and it's very affordable price at $1921, Sing dollars for eight nights because Mitchell is Singaporean, so we are using Singapore dollars here. So this four-star hotel provides a high level of security which also fits Mitchell's requirements and also is highly accessible because it is close to a metro station. It is also located at a premium location right in the central city of Paris and it is walking distance to the popular Moline Road show and also shopping um, at big shopping malls such as Printoms and Gallery La Fire which is also aligned with Mitchell's shopping objectives. Lastly, the hotel also offers stable and free Wi-Fi which allows him to do research on the go about more destinations he would like to visit or also connect back with his friends and family in Singapore and around the world. So where did we derive this from? It's actually from this booking.com website. And um, as you can see, the review score here is 8.5 out of 336 reviews. And it is really quite high. And this, besides the booking.com website, we also um, learned about Team Hotel Oprah Grand Magazines through other websites as well, such as TripAdvisor. So now moving on to attractions. So since the detailed itinerary will tell you where Mitchell will go on every respective day throughout the nine days, I will present the attractions by classifying them into categories that suits what Mitchell wants to do during the trip. So Mitchell wants to do shopping, sightseeing, night activities. And for others, these are recommendations by us, the tour agents, that we feel Mitchell should um, see when, during his time in Paris. So to begin for shopping, we will plan for him to visit um, big shopping malls like Gallery La Baia, Green Thomas, and also the La Valley Outlet Shopping Village. And why this particular shopping village? Because it is one of the most popular and one of the biggest shopping outlets, and also is located very close to Disneyland. Okay, and also this shopping outlet offers very good premium discounts, huge discounts for branded goods, and they have brands like Givenchy and Celine that other outlet malls um, do not really have. So, 
For sightseeing, we intend to bring you to the iconic Eiffel Tower, the Palace of Cells, the Luxembourg Palace and Gardens, as well as a cycling trip along Riverside because of his adventurous personality. This will allow him to see um, the Notre Dame Cathedral and other famous landmarks in the day. And for the night activities, we intend to take him to watch the famous Moline Roche where he will be given a VIP treatment because it's for two, right? So during that Moline Rock show, he will be given front row seats to the stage. He will be treated to a three-course meal with champagne while watching this one hour, one zero five minute show. So we will also bring him to the iconic Art de Triumph as well as to see the illuminated Eiffel Tower at night while being on a river cruise along Riverside. So earlier on, he cycled along Riverside, right? So at night, we want him to have a romantic dinner along Riverside while looking at the illuminated backdrop of Paris. So uh, lastly, we will also bring him to um, Champs Elysees, which um, is one of the famous roads and landmarks stretching 1.9 kilometers in Paris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the little park the And again, there, there's a lot of shopping um, along the two streets on the left and right. So for others, we would highly recommend him to go to Disneyland because it's a very keen thing for um, young adults like us. We would also recommend him to go to the Lower <coughs> Museum because it is currently the, most, world, the world's most famous art museum. So it would be a waste not to visit this museum. Furthermore, there's a lot of grand architecture and unique architecture they can take photos of outside this museum. So we would also recommend him to go to the St. Owen Flea Market because this is one of the larger flea markets that consists of a lot of antique goods where he can pick up either home commodities or souvenirs for his friends. So, what are the package details? So the three of us have came up with a very good package price of $7,500 for two pets. This includes the admission tickets to all the mentioned attractions. It also includes some of the meals throughout the nine days in Paris. And furthermore, this $7,500 includes the insurance and visa that is needed and required for this Paris trip. However, it excludes the land transport in Paris, which will be primarily by cab, as mentioned by Mitchell's um, requirements. And more details will be in the detailed travel, travel itinerary, because in the detailed itinerary, we have actually come up with estimates of the cat computations. So we actually have um, estimates of cat fares from the hotel to all these places of attraction for uh, Mitchell's consideration. Yeah. How much would that be? Uh, later I'll show you in the detailed budget at the end of my presentation. So for some um, certain points to note, like I mentioned earlier, to travel to Paris with a Singapore passport, you actually need to apply for a visa. However, we as the travel agents will help you apply for both the visa and the insurance, and the fees for these are included in the travel package price. So lastly, please note that the temperature in August will be around 16 to 20 degrees Celsius. It will be during spring. And this is the hotel address, Team Hotel Opera Grand Spagazines, should you get lost. I'm your travel agent, and I'm Benjamin. And this is my contact number, 94321515. Please feel free to contact me should you have any changes, uh, require any clarifications or assistance. And I'll be more than happy to assist you. So, the three of us look forward to serving you in the near future, and we wish you a pleasant stay and a pleasant trip in Paris. Okay, so um, aside from Mitchell, uh, this is assuming he has left. Mm -hmm. So this is actually our cost breakdown. Uh. Okay, so um, the total cost of everything is 6714 but being travel agents, we will want to mark up to earn a profit. So we intend to split this $800 profit among the three of us. That's why we put him a uh, grand total of $7,500. So how much is the total taxi fare, right? It's actually $292 for the both of them throughout the nine days. The nine days. Yes which is actually quite affordable, yeah. correct. So, Mitchell, are you okay with the proposal and the package price? Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. So we will proceed on to give you the detailed travel itinerary. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. Very well organized, right? Uh, fully prepared and quite formed. And entertainment? Interesting because your client, your requirement is only shopping, right? Shopping, <laughs> shopping, sightseeing. Yeah, I saw yeah. the movie in Paris. So uh -huh. I didn't want to go to Paris. Okay, interesting. I thought you would like to do more. Okay.
This picture itself is breathtaking. <coughs> so our proposed itinerary is nine days centered around just South New Zealand. Because you don't spend too much time traveling the whole of New Zealand and more time on the activity itself. So key features is adventure comes only south of New Zealand. We've re we reduced the travel time, a low cost accommodation, and we always consider safety, even the, the amount of excitement that we have to go through. Uh, and our emphasis on the variety and number of activities, and more, more than often, there will be one activity a day, but a very tiring one. And for, for the maximum enjoyment of the extreme sports, we plan the trip during 1st to 10th February with one marketing. And this coincides with the vacation timing of uh, NDT. And it's also the warm season in uh, New Zealand, so it's perfect for extreme sports. So these are flight details. Uh, then the three quantas, uh, 49996 LTD. So on the first and return on the 10th. This is the planned route, okay, centered in South New Zealand, and we zoom into that. Okay, these are the attractions, and there's a, you'll be traveling a total of 1, 2, 2, 4 kilometers around the entire of South New Zealand. Cool. So day one, the moment you uh, depart, uh, no, you reach Christchurch Airport, you will check in, and then straight away you will be going for uh, Adrenaline Forest Obstacle Course. Okay, so this obstacle course is uh, immersed in the natural environment of Canterbury and Wellington, and it has exciting obstacles such as I've mentioned. And the special thing about it is you don't have to be just fit; you have to be smart in order to solve obstacles and go through the entire course. So this includes lunch, dinner, mm -hmm. uh, entrance ticket, and of course the hostel fee. So these are more pictures. Still call it fun. It's thrilling. And second day, white water rafting through Rangitata Gorge. So uh, this one, is, uh, you, you can't compare to this one with, with the one at Hua Lien. Because uh, uh, Amy has been the one, the one at Hua Lien. This one is grade 5 white water rafting. So west of Christchurch, uh, where safety instructors will guide and glide you through the river. <coughs> and at the end of this route, there's even an exciting and optional jump of 10 meters off the cliff. So all meals are provided, including 3 hours of water rafting. On the third day is hiking day. It's beautiful, beautiful view. Third day is about getting lost in the wilderness. And then you... Do you recommend this one? It's so tired. <laughs> That's why you know, in each day there's only one planned activity, about three, four hours, and then the rest of the day is to rest or to shop if you have the energy. So day three is about hiking, getting lost in the wilderness, taking a drive to the southern lakes in the morning, witnessing the magnificent 3,000 meter Mount Cook, and heading into the forts, enjoying a lunch prepared by the Maori tribe, and then proceeding to an 11 kilometers return hike. So once again, it includes three meals, a full day hike, qualified hiker to guarantee your safety. On the fourth day, skydiving at the Southern Alps. See, once again, excitement and a breathtaking view all around. So you experience firsthand the best views of New Zealand's Southern Alps. Once again, strapped to a qualified instructor for safety and anywhere, that's where you will get your jaw-dropping lake and mountain views. And you'll end the day by travelling to Queenstown where you can enjoy free and easy time to rest, so breakfast, lunch, and a skydive is provided. And on the fifth day, heli biking. You, will, the, you see the helicopter there? The helicopter will take you to the top of the mountain, and from there you'll do a downhill bike all the way to the basin. So you will and you will enjoy cross-challenging technical sections will, that will end, uh, require you to stand paddle. Or, uh, but once again, don't worry, uh, there's still be safety instructors around. This includes the helicopter ride I mentioned, a mountain bike rental and all views. Yes, okay, so now I'll talk about day six and the rest of the itinerary. So on day six, um, all of us love some thrills in life, and this one does, this one is not very physically demanding on the body. So after five days of demanding activity, we put your heart to the test now by asking you to leap off the navy string. So this is the biggest swing in the world. It's something like a bungee jump, except when you jump, you swing as well. So as you accelerate down into the canyon below, 
you reach speeds of up to 150 kilometers per hour and you feel wind gushing in your face. Now if you survive this without dying from a heart attack, then you can enjoy day seven. So day seven is basically demanding on the upper part of your body, not on the lower part. So in day seven, we will go kayaking. So we take a slow and drive into the Fieldland National Parks and here you get to enjoy the beautiful scenic uh, Milford Road. And the de destination is of course the spectacular Milford Sounds. This is a tourist attraction of New Zealand. Everyone has to go and take a look. So um, you embark on a four to five hours kayaking trip so you enjoy the pristine <coughs> glacier water. So this water actually, you can drink the water as you kayak because it's, it's from the melting ice that comes from the glacier. The glacier. So this includes the kayaking, of course all meals and the transport to the place. The eighth day, once again we do mountain biking again, but this time we are not going down, we are going a long distance. So we'll do a mountain biking at the Marlboro Lakes after taking a long drive there. And here you get to witness New Zealand's greatest farming stations. So most of the farms of New Zealand are located along this stretch. Of course there's a thrilling five kilometer downhill stretch. And when you go down here, you get to go fast without using much energy. And of course, we want to end the day with something relaxing. So we end the day with a slow and leisurely cruise all the way back to Queenstown. And of course, our package includes the mountain bike rentals, the cruise trip, and all three meals for the day. And with that, we come to the final day for one last trip. So here, you get to rest your tired body. You don't get to do anything. All you have to do is sit in a boat, and experience the high speed of this boat going through the canyon. So not to worry, this is operated by short over jet boating, which is the only operator allowed to operate um, to, to have this jet boating activity in the region. And so it's very safe. And of course, you get live vests, the boat rides, breakfast and lunch. Okay, so now nine days of activities come with a cost. So now let's look through the cost breakdown and budget thing uh, with respect to your demands. Okay, so th this is the first five days. So on the first day, uh, our obstacle cost is rather cheap. After that, we have 5,000 NTD for, for white water rafting. Southern Lakes, 3,000. Um, then the skydiving is more expensive because you have to pay for the, air, um, the, the airplane right up. So it's 8,000 NTD. And of course, day five is also expensive because you have to take a helicopter trip up. So it's 9,000 Day 6, the Navy swing, entrance fee is rather costly. Kayaking is cheaper. Then of course in day 8, mountain biking is 2,000 NTD. Uh, day 9, jet boating for entrance fee is 3,100 NTD. So the total cost on activities alone, this is where the bulk of the cost is, would be 41,735 NTD. Because of the bulk purchase, we are able to get a price of 31300 uh, NTD only. So there's a discount factor here to make it more attractive to you. It's a good deal. Of course, we have to, to cover accommodation as well. So nine days of accommodations, we have found very budget accommodations. Um, all this you can find from agoda.com, which is something like booking.com. So um, this is, these are last minute prices, uh, so it's really affordable. So um, for a first world country like New Zealand. So um, we try our best not to put um, Amy, who is a girl, in a backpacker's dormitory with eight or nine beds because we have concerns for her safety. So of course, we, we would like to spend just a bit more to get at least a private room for her. So that explains the slightly higher prices in room, in room prices, but these are the lowest rates available already. So altogether, we'll spend 18,000 NTD on uh, accommodation for 9 days, which is around 567 US dollars. Other costs that we have to take into account, insurance, especially one that covers extreme sports, is going to be quite costly because the chances of getting hurt is quite high. But we strongly recommend insurance because, like I said, the chance of getting injured is quite high. <laughs> of course, there's the airfare that I mentioned earlier from Qantas, uh, and meals, 
Uh, Amy would like to save on meals, so we cut down a lot of meals, and altogether we have only 3,300 NTV. And of course, traveling based on the distance, uh, we come back and we use a low mileage car, we are able to get 14,000, including the driver, from traveling. So all the, altogether, the other cost is 76,000. So this is the breakdown of the cost for a grand total of 126,000 NTD, which is around 5,000, which is around four, three to 4,000 US dollars. So for a nine-day trip to New Zealand, this is actually a very reasonable price. So practical information for the trip. These are stuff that we have researched uh, to help you in your decision planning. So the itinerary is very, very strenuous, if you have seen nine days of pack physical activities. So in order to enjoy yourself, from now to February, it's strongly recommended for Amy to get uh, plenty of exercise. Of course, um, most of, some of the activities require upper body strength. So um, recommended workouts include core strengthening activities such as planks, as well as cardio workouts. And two days of mountain biking are include, is included in itinerary. So learning how to ride a bicycle and being confident on a bicycle is very important. So Amy, we recommend, you, um, we re recommend that you ride at least twice a week <laughs> from now to <till> February. <laughs> so during the trip, it's extreme, safety is paramount. Safety is extremely important. So these are the, these are the do's. Listen to instructors at all times. Use the safety equipment that's provided. And do not wander off aimlessly because no one wants to get lost in the wild. New Zealand is extremely large. and. It's very rural, so getting lost there means that we might not be able to find you anymore. <laughs> of course, we have to take into account the cultural, the cultural side of it. So, New Zealand is dominated by the British colonial um, people. So, it's dominated by, uh, but of course, there's the Aboriginal tribes living there. They're known as the Maoris. These Maoris may not speak English and. During the itinerary, we get to experience some of their ceremonial practices. So, um, we have to pay a lot of respect because these are their cultural practices. So, we don't want to chatter or laugh loudly during these ceremonies. And at the same time, we want, don't want to appear disrespectful or be underdressed for the ceremony. So, with that, um, we have come to the end of our presentation. So, uh, baby, how do you find our travel proposal? It's too difficult, right? For me, this is so exciting. Like, you put everything that I like, but you put it in a nine day trip. It's like, it would probably end up in the hospital right like now. <laughs> okay, so Amy, we can tweak our proposal to suit your physical demand. We can remove some of the activities. Of course, this is nine days. Probably with more than half. <laughs> Nine days of activities for you, so we can remove those that you are less interested. Make sure I want you shop all day and we do all the activity all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the thing is, we want to present to you everything at the buffet, so you know what you like and what you don't like, right? So better more than less, right? <laughs> better more than less, really? For now, for now. So what you don't like, you can remove. So what you don't like? Yes, but only 10 minutes from 
dormitory. Do the house and I. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Amy.